At any moment on board an aircraft, a fire could break out. Although the majority of in-flight fires are small, even a small fire, not quickly and efficiently brought under control, can have devastating consequences in the confined space of an aircraft cabin. The interior of an aircraft is built mainly of man-made materials, all of which give off dense toxic fumes when ignited or exposed to very high temperatures. The aim of this program is to make you aware of the types of fire which can break out during a flight. It shows how you can reduce the risk of fires being started by the irresponsible action of passengers. It also shows what you must do to prevent fires being started by your own mistakes. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has now turned off the no smoking sign. And provided you are seated in the smoking area, you may now smoke. The smoking areas on board today are... All the scenes you are about to see are reconstructions of events that have actually happened on board aircraft. They could easily happen to you. Of the onboard fires which can be dealt with by flight attendants, about 5% are caused by hazardous items carried by passengers as hand luggage. 25% are cabin fires in the passenger seating areas. These are the easiest to detect because smoke is quickly apparent to the passengers and crew. 25% of fires involve the galley. They're often caused by combustion of food particles and grease in dirty ovens and 45%, or nearly half of all cabin fires, are within toilet compartments. These are potentially the most hazardous if they're not detected quickly. They're usually caused by electrical faults or by smokers. Often passengers will find themselves in a non-smoking area, either because smoking seats were not available or because their partner doesn't smoke. But smokers can easily find ways around the bands. On non-smoking flights, there's an even greater danger because the toilets are the only place they can secretly smoke. Smokers know that toilets have smoke detectors. So to avoid setting them off, they block them. They will use almost anything that's available to do this. Other objects that have actually been used are plastic bags, cling film, sellotape, paper towels, even shaving foam. Any kind of detector can be disabled and will often be left blocked. The next occupier could be a child or irresponsible adult. They're more likely to be careless with matches and lighters. Not properly extinguishing a cigarette can cause a fire in the waste bin. 
Drug takers are also a special danger because they use the toilets to heat up their drugs on naked flames. Their behavior could be totally unpredictable. You should check toilets regularly, at least every 20 minutes, and even more frequently if you suspect smokers have been using them or when the toilets are not in regular use, such as during night flights. Check that no smoke is present and that the smoke detector is clear. Make sure there are no cigarette ends lying about. And if you think a smoker has been using the toilet, then you must check the waste bins for heat from a possible fire before you check the contents of the bin. When carrying out routine checks, make sure that flaps and waste bin doors close properly. Bins should be emptied if they're too full. Make sure they're clear of objects which could fuel a fire, such as tissues or pressurized spray cans. Ladies' nail varnish and perfumes are highly flammable. Fires have occurred from passengers intentionally burning personal items like passports or documents. Fires have also been caused by a jammed toilet flush motor overheating. Obvious signs would be a burning smell or the continual sound of the motor running. Regular checks of the toilet are essential in preventing a small fire becoming uncontained. The galley has many dangerous sources of heat and a high risk of electrical failures, so be aware of the procedures for resetting circuit breakers. The area should not be left unattended for long periods during drinks and meal services. Regular checks to the galley and equipment are essential. Galley fires have started from water boilers being switched on when they're empty, but fires are mainly caused by an oven malfunction or the oven being wrongly used or not cleaned after use. Ovens should always be checked immediately before switch on. You must make sure there is nothing in there which could catch fire. Make sure that you're only cooking food and nothing else. Spilt grease when heated to high temperatures will immediately catch fire. An empty oven should not be used to dry out dishcloths or store personal belongings. All the items in here have started fires in the past. Make sure no objects which could melt and catch fire are placed next to or immediately above the ovens. Aerosol cans are particularly dangerous as they could explode and burn furiously. And never obstruct air conditioning grills to dry out cloths. And never use paper towels to cut down the noise from the ventilation. Blocking the grills might cause the extraction fan motors to overheat. During night flights, open ovens should not be used to heat up the galley, no matter how cold your flight is. And if you want to smoke, you must be aware of the company's regulations on smoking. If ashtrays are not fitted, always use a glass of water for ash and cigarette stubs. A reminder of a passenger's request could lead to a momentary loss of concentration. Never leave a lighted cigarette unattended in the galley. It's easy to imagine a situation where things can go wrong in a very short space of time. Sorry to disturb you, ladies and gentlemen, but the captain has found it necessary to turn on the fasten seatbelt sign as we are experiencing some turbulence. Would you please now return to your seats and fasten your seatbelt securely? The washrooms will not be in use at this time. Thank you.
At all times, flight attendants must make sure that passengers are causing no obviously dangerous situations with items brought on board as hand baggage. Electrical equipment can get very hot. Items like movie lights have been packed away without being allowed to cool down. An obvious hazard which occurs only too frequently is bottles falling out of overhead bins and smashing. Alcohol and perfumes are highly flammable and can be ignited by passengers smoking nearby. Attendants should always be on the lookout for hand baggage items that should never be used on board. Lighter fuel is an obvious hazard with smokers nearby and gas cartridges used for heated hair rollers could be lethal if gas leaks out. And non-safety matches can create spontaneous combustion caused by the vibration of the aircraft and pressure from other hand luggage. The fire could start in a handbag under the seats or hidden away in the overhead bins. Flight attendants should always keep a watchful eye on passengers, especially those who are acting strangely. Their behavior could be due to a medical condition, like the onset of a diabetic coma or an epileptic fit. They may be simply suffering from the effects of alcohol or drugs. They may be mentally disturbed or distressed. These are the types of passenger who could start a fire, either accidentally or maliciously. Excuse me, sir, would you mind not smoking your standing up, please? Smoke anyway. It's your responsibility to make sure all smoking regulations are obeyed because cabin fires are often caused by smokers. And gentlemen, we would like to remind all passengers that you must not smoke while standing or walking around the cabin. Thank you for your cooperation. Most people are unaware of the dangers of fire on board an aircraft until they become one of the statistics. Every opportunity should be taken to point out fire hazards to passengers. Do you mind using your ashtray, please? Be especially careful when collecting meal trays that cigarette ends are not still smouldering. These could catch fire later in the food containers or in the waste bags. Cabin fires have also started when lights which stay on continually from a faulty switch are blocked by tissues. These can easily catch fire from the heat of the lights. Flight attendants should frequently check the smoking zones for cigarettes and other hazards. Excuse me, sir, could you please just extinguish that cigarette? If you're not careful, it will catch light there. Please use At your... night time, be especially watchful and check the floors and the seats because passengers may doze off while smoking a cigarette. Fires on board an aircraft are not only a danger during a flight, at any time on the ground, you must remain on your guard. This is a particularly dangerous time. Be very aware of events from outside the aircraft which may require you to take immediate action. For instance, smoke could be blown into the cabin by a faulty APU requiring the immediate shutting of the doors or an emergency evacuation. Right. Smoke could enter the cabin due to a fire in a passenger walkway. Airports have potentially dangerous sources of combustion from aircraft continually being refueled. Passengers who stay on board should remain seated with their seat belts off. This could save valuable seconds in the event of an emergency evacuation. Make sure that all aisles and exits are left clear and that passengers observe the no smoking signs. Cameras with flashlights or video lights could ignite aviation fumes blown into the aircraft. I'm going to have to ask you to put your cigarette out. No smoking sign is on. We are refueling and there is oxygen here. Cabin fires have been caused by simple electrical faults. A cupboard with a faulty switch which fails to turn off the internal lights 
could cause flammable materials to catch fire if they come into contact with a hot lamp. Fires started by electrical faults are often only detected by smell, so passengers acting strangely may be doing so because they are aware of a situation that the crew are not. Yes, I, I know it sounds really ridiculous, but I'm sure I can smell smoke. It's sort of around this area, this panel here, and it's getting stronger. It is every flight attendant's responsibility to know what to do when a fire is suspected. An in-flight fire not immediately and effectively dealt with could quickly take hold, filling the aircraft with dense toxic smoke. The smell of smoke or the feeling of heat from overloaded electrical cables could be your only clue to a fire. If smoke does appear, it could be coming from a location well away from the source of the fire. Would you know how to react from here? your actions and how you respond to the situation that can make all the difference in preventing an outbreak of fire and stopping a small fire becoming a major tragedy. So remember these important points. It is vital to be continually alert and aware of all possible fire risks and know exactly how to deal with them. Constant checks should be made throughout the cabin, the galley and in the toilet areas at all times. You should know how to manage the passengers to prevent an outbreak of panic. You should know your airline's approved procedure for instantly fighting each type of fire and be familiar with the location and operation of firefighting equipment. And as soon as smoke or fire is suspected, the cockpit crew and other attendants should be informed and continually updated. Captain, this is Sandra at L4. We have a fire each year, there are over 30 million passenger flights worldwide. Only a very small percentage result in a serious fire on board. Make sure your flight isn't one of them. <laughs>